the, the key in these games, I suppose, is not to look at too far beyond into the second game. And that's the danger. And a lot of teams do that. They look at the overall, they look at we've two games coming up. So I've no doubt, say, the likes of Munster now coming up, looking at their two games, they're going to be just targeting Sunday. They will not look, be looking beyond it. It's, it's all bets are off. And especially the fact that you have a home game first, you must, in this competition, always win your home games. So it's very challenging. And when you do get beyond that, then it's a case of, right, what else can you bring? You're, be very conscious. The guys saw all your different lineups, your different patterns, your scrums and so forth the previous week. So we have to add something new. So that's challenging, not just for players, but for coaches as well. And hopefully I'm targeting to be back for around uh, March. Uh, I uh, actually fresh my hip against the Ospreys in Magnus League fixture in Tone Park back in September so I'm currently on the road to recovery with that one you know you have to be confident going in you know particularly with the results over the I suppose the Guinness Autumn Internationals um, there's a lot of uh, hard fought victories there from the I suppose the, the younger squad and um, those results are very encouraging going forward and I suppose it breeds that extra bit of confidence that you, you want and you need going into these these game weeks. A number of their a number of the Ospreys' key players are struggling for form. And certainly in, this, in the autumn series, I thought a lot of them were really, really struggling for form. So it's going to be very interesting from that point of view. Can they can they use as Munster have done in the past when Ireland were struggling, coming back into the fold of the of the Ospreys jersey now? Can they bounce back? And that's a big decision. The bookies have. Munster have clear favourites. I think there's an eight or nine point spread on it. I think that Munster are going to be too strong for Ospreys. And it kind of raises the question, where is the real world-class players? Where's the real international players? Because both sides are bursting at the seams with international players. But I think Munster, it's an enormous advantage to be playing that first of two legs in Thoman Park. There's so much cup experience. But then you look back to Ospreys beating Leinster in the Magnus Cup final, effectively, in the RDS. They're a quality side as well, but I think they're just behind Munster at this stage. You come into Thoman Park, it's European Cup time again. Ospreys have showed some great form. They were very unlucky in Toulon. Uh, of course, against London Irish, they had a great result there. But coming to, to Munster, uh, you know, I know they had that, that win in the Magnus League, which, and of course they went to, on to win, and they've taken a big step up last season. But this is a big, big hill for them to climb. You'd have to fancy Munster at home, but it really, it's like a cup final. And it, it's the thing about the European Cup this year, it's more competitive than ever at, at every stage of the group. Look at the Ospreys, you know, they've all been away in Welsh camp, and a lot of them didn't get a run out last week as well so I, I think it's a it's a mix and match you know both sides have so many international players that it is difficult to get that bit of momentum um, but both sides looked uh, quite sharp last weekend and uh, you know it's you know, no no can have any complaints because they both have the same sort of uh, problems to deal with